How's it going, people? Well, I thought it's time to do another section of the DNC. Besides, uh, I picked up some libations. I'm not a big uh, wine cooler fan, but raspberry burst. It sounds like it's probably loaded with antioxidants. So, let's give it a try. Ouch. There we go. Uh, Dishpan hands from work. I'm not a dishwasher, I'm a maintenance man, but same thing. Just tears them up. Uh, oh, that's nice. Damn raspberry burst. That is tasty. Well, let's see where we're at. Section 103 of the DNC. It's got to be getting good. Revelation. Given through Joseph Smith the prophet at Kirtland, Ohio, February 24th, 1834. For explanation of unusual names, see heading of to section 78 because they got special names for themselves. I think Joey's got four different monikers. You know, like Enoch and uh, I forgot some of the other ones, but yeah, they got funny names. Uh, they even got names for the places they go to because they're so secretive. Uh, anyway, yeah, I, I already covered this. It was funny as shit. Section 78. Did a video on it. You might check it out. Fucking hilarious where they explain why they need these silly names. And every once in a while, Joey gets a new one. <laughs> Cause of the persecutions permitted against the saints in Jackson County, Missouri, that'd be Zion, the promised land that things are somehow going awry. They're going to explain the reasons. Because God said it wasn't going to happen. But there are reasons. I believe it was, uh, don't fuck up, or I'm going to fuck everything up. Something like that. All right. The saints to prevail if they follow the counsel of the Lord. I wonder what that's going to be. Otherwise, the powers of the world to prevail against them. That could happen? Wow, the devil could win. That's scary. Yeah, so they better do the right thing. All right. Um, the angel of the Lord and the Lord's presence to go before the people. That's God evidence. I wish we could have some of that. Uh, monies to be collected and sent up to Zion being Jackson County, Missouri, for the purchase of lands. And we know how that turned out. Individual instructions to certain elders, and that's it for the masthead. Ah, one. Verily, I say unto you, my friends, behold, I will give unto you a revelation and commandment that you may know how to act in the discharge of your duties concerning the salvation and redemption of your brethren who have been scattered on the land of Zion, Missouri. Two. Being driven and smitten by the hands of mine enemies, on whom I will pour out my wrath without measure in mine own time. So how is it that Joey Jr., the profiteer, got tarred and feathered? Or it was God. Did he fuck up too? Three. For I have suffered them thus far. I think actually your saints were doing all the suffering. <laughs> that 
they may fill up the measure of their iniquities, because they're a little low, that their cup might be full. Now, let's get with it. More iniquities, please. Four. And that those who call themselves after my name might be chastened for a little season with a score of grievous chastenments because they did not hearken altogether unto the precepts and commandments which I gave unto them through Joey. His voice box, his mouthpiece. Five. But verily, I say unto you, he likes that little phrase, I'll drink to that. It helps the book go down. That I have decreed a decree which my people shall realize. Yeah, they need to realize something, don't they? That they're being conned. Some of them do, finally. Uh, Inasmuch as they hearken from this very hour unto the counsel which I, the Lord their God, shall give unto them. Six. Behold, they shall, for I have decreed it, begin to prevail against mine enemies from this very hour. So it's going to turn around, right? They won't have to, like, flee with their tails between their legs and Joey get shot and settle for Salt Lake City. Desiree. Ain't going to happen, because, see, he decreed it. Yep, he's going to turn it all around. Seven. And by hearkening to observe all the words which I, the Lord their God, shall speak unto them, they shall never cease to prevail against the kingdoms of the world. <coughs> hmm. Pardon me. Uh, they shall never to prevail until the kingdoms of the world are subdued under my feet. Ew. And the earth is given unto the saints. They get the earth to possess it forever and ever. What about the J-dubs? I thought they're getting the earth. Aren't, aren't you guys getting a new planet? That's right, they haven't invented that. I mean, they haven't had that revelation yet. Coming up, I guess. All right. Nine. Eight, but inasmuch as they keep not my commandments and hearken not to observe all of my words, the kingdoms of the world shall prevail against them. Well, maybe you can stop the sun in the sky or make it go back ten degrees. That'll that always works. <laughs> or have a donkey talk to him or something. I don't know. A burning bush can tell them what to do. That's always convincing. All right. Nine. For they were set to be a light unto the world and to be the saviors of men, unless they fuck up. Then they weren't very good, were they? Ten. And inasmuch as they are not the saviors of men, they are... As salt that has lost its savor. How about its saltiness? It's desalinated salt. <sighs> and is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under the feet of man. Like, he repeats that one a lot. I think Jesus was content to say it once, but they keep saying it over and over again. Okay. Eleven. But verily, I 
I say unto you, damn good. Not using my thing, but it's nice. Um, I have decreed that your brethren, which have been scattered, shall return to the lands of their inheritance and shall build up the waste places of Zion. So there you go. It's a revelation. and It'll happen. Right? Wait, it didn't happen, did it? <sighs> Perplexing. Guess he's just not a very good prophet. Great profiteer, though. All right. Twelve. For after much tribulation, as I have said unto you, in a former commandment cometh the blessing. Count on it. Thirteen. Behold, this is the blessing which I have promised after your tribulations and the tribulations of your brethren, your redemption and the redemption of your brethren, even their restoration to the land of Zion which is Jackson County, Missouri, to be established, no more to be thrown down. I guess that's going to happen in the future, because it didn't happen in the past. Isn't that what Mitt was trying to say? See, he's got it all figured out. It didn't happen in the past, so it must be a prophecy about uh, the future that it, it just hasn't happened yet. But it will! He has faith. Hmm. All right. Fourteen. Nevertheless. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. If they pollute their inheritances, they shall be thrown down. Like unsalty salt. For I will not spare them if they pollute their inheritance. Says... 15. Behold, I say unto you, the redemption of Zion must needs come by power. What kind of power? Prayer power? Should we call Rick Perry? <sighs> Damn refreshing. Uh, 16. Behold. No, no 16. Therefore, I will raise up unto my people a man who shall lead them like as Moses led the children of Israel. Are we talking about Briggy? Briggy Young? Wasn't there a guy that was put in charge and Briggy ran him out? They had a little prophecy war? I forgot his name. We'll get to him, I'm sure. All right. Ah, oh, the pain. Make it go away. All right. This helps. 17. For ye are the children of Israel and the seed of Abraham. And ye must needs be led out of bondage by power and with the with a stretched out arm. Eighteen. And as your fathers were led at the first, even so shall the redemption of Zion be. I think they're still talking about Missouri. Nineteen. Therefore, let not your hearts faint. For I Say not unto you, as I said unto your fathers, mine angels shall go, shall go up before you, but not my presence. That's what he said to them. 20. But I say unto you, <coughs> no, that was me, not him. Uh, mine angels shall go up before you, and also my presence. That's the difference. Because they're more special. 
very special. Special needs. <sighs> and in time ye shall possess the goodly land. Instead, settle for Utah. That'll be good enough. 21. Verily, verily, a double verily. I drink to those. I say unto you that my servant, Barak, uh, Barak L. Uh, Joseph Smith Jr., that's another one of his names. In parentheses, see they're getting into their secret names, their silly names. Uh, is the man to whom I likened to the servant to whom the Lord of the vineyard spake in the parable which I have given unto you? Thanks for explaining that to Joey, so he could tell everybody that he's the guy, as God said it through him. Twenty-two. Therefore, let my servant Barack Al. Joseph Smith, Jr., again, in brackets, uh, say unto the strength of my house, my young men, and the middle-aged, gather yourselves together unto the land of Zion, unto the land which I have brought, bought with money that has been consecrated unto me, as in donated to by Rubes, Religious hearted rubes. 23. And let all the churches send up wise men with their monies and purchase lands, even as I have commanded them. Joey's land uh, scam. That's what led to his getting uh, killed. He had a big falling out with the saints, lost a bunch of them. Some of them might have actually been in the, the mob that martyred him. Hard to say. <sighs> 24. And inasmuch as mine enemies come against you to drive you from my goodly land which I have consecrated to be the land of Zion, even from your own lands, after these testimonies which ye have brought before me against them, ye shall curse them. I'll be cursing you, Joey, in time. <sighs> Twenty-five. And whomsoever ye curse, I will curse. And ye shall avenge me of mine enemies. 26. And my presence shall be with you even as an inv av uh, even in avenging me of mine enemies. God's enemies. Unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. <coughs> there we go. I was waiting for that one. 27. Let no man be afraid to lay down his life for my sake. <sighs> for... Whoso layeth down his life for my sake shall find it again and never, never land. He promises. You can cash that check at the pearly gates. Uh, all right. 28. And whoso is not willing to lay down his life for my sake is not my disciple. Count me uh, out. Of the discipleship. Ah. 29. It is my will that my servant, Sidney Rigdon, shall lift up his voice in the congregations in the eastern countries. In the prep, in the pre, 
in the preparing of the churches to keep the commandments which I have given unto them concerning the restoration and redemption of Zion. And that's going to really work out. 30. It is my will that my servant Party P. Pratt, Triple P, the other martyr, <laughs> and a relative of Mitt, uh, Google that guy, Party P. Pratt. It'll entertain you. <laughs> Little home wreck prick. <sighs> With his harem. You got greedy. And my servant, Layman Wright, uh, should not return to the land of their brethren until they have obtained companies to go up in, unto the land of Zion by tens or by twenties. Or by fifties, or by an hundred, until they have obtained to the number five hundred of the strength of my house. <coughs> Thirty-one. But this is my will. Ask and ye shall receive. Eventually. Maybe. <sighs> But men do not always do my will, so they don't receive. Because they got to do it right. They got to ask for the right shit. <laughs> Whatever expedient to God. Uh, 32. Therefore, if ye cannot obtain 500, seek diligently that peradventure you may obtain 300. So, now we're low-balling. <laughs> He's already backpedaling. 33. And if ye cannot obtain 300, seek diligently that peradventure you may obtain, may obtain 100. 34. But verily I say unto you, a commandment I give unto you, that ye shall not go up unto the land of Zion until you have obtained a hundred of the strength of my house to go up with you unto the land of Zion. Well, what if you had more than five hundred? You don't have a provision for that. What if they did better? Sorry, man, we already got five hundred. <laughs> we got to follow the letter of the law. He commanded us by revelation. Just saying. I'm trying to help. All right. 35. Therefore, as I said unto you, ask and ye shall receive. Pray earnestly that peradventure he's found a new word he likes. My servant, Barack Ale, brackets Joseph Smith Jr., how many times do they think they need to explain that to us? Why don't they just say Joseph Smith Jr. and skip the... I think this is a new phony name for him. I think he's up to five now. May go with you and preside in the midst of my people and organize my kingdom here in America. A kingdom. Upon the consecrated land and establish the children of Zion upon the laws and commandments which have been and which shall be given unto you. So we're going to have a little monarchy here. A little theocracy. Sounds pretty hideous. <clears throat> 36. All victory and glory is brought to pass. Unto you through your diligence, faithfulness, and prayers of faith. Okay. An oxymoron there. Uh, 37. Let my servant Party P. Pratt journey with my servant Joseph Smith Jr. Oh, we got his real name this time. No phony name with it. All right. 
weird. Uh, 38. Let my servant Layman Wright journey with my servant Sidney Rigdon. 39. Let my servant Hiram Smith journey with my servant Frederick G. Williams. 40. Let my servant Orson Hyde journey with my servant Orson Pratt. Whithersoever my servant Joseph Smith Jr. shall counsel them in obtaining the fulfillment of these commandments which I have given unto you through Joey uh, and leave the residue of in my hands that's the surplus money even so amen and that's it for 103 fucking fascinating it's getting good folks let me know if you learned something or have any thoughts chime in and stay tuned we're going to finish this. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And I'm going to probably be doing some more uh, Passion of Mel. Because I like it. I just, I had to take down part two and re-edit it. Because YouTube hit me for the soundtrack. <laughs> I guess it was alright that I used clips. But I can't use the soundtrack. So, whenever any of that crappy <sighs> music that sounds like it's leftover from Braveheart comes up, I... I'll just come up with some uh, royalty-free music, and I'm thinking about getting a little inventive here. <laughs> anyway, stick to